Deep fried cheese. One of my favorite appetizers to order at places like TGI Fridays is mozzarella sticks. Who doesn't love that nice, warm, gooey, mouth-watering cheese nestled in breadcrumbs and then dipped in marinara? We're going to show you how to create restaurant-inspired classics at home. To start, I bought some string cheese at my grocery store and then cut it in half widthwise. Then you have the perfect size mozzarella stick. I have my flour set up in a medium-sized bowl, a simple egg wash, which is just a couple eggs, a little bit of milk, and then the breading. Now, today I'm using panko breadcrumbs. It's gonna give it a nice, light, fluffy, even a crunchier texture than average breadcrumbs. And I also put a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon of dried parsley, and a teaspoon each of garlic salt and seasoning salt. So I'm gonna start by grabbing a couple pieces of cheese and put it into the flour. Make sure you get all of your cheese nice and coated. Pat them off, then I'm gonna put them for a little egg wash. All right, and then toss them into your breadcrumbs. All right, now, there's your mozzarella stick, but it's not ready yet because that's actually not enough breading. You really wanna get a nice crispy coating. So I'm gonna put them back through the egg wash one more time and then the panko. This is really gonna ensure that you have a nice, thick breading. And then I've lined a baking sheet with wax paper. So this is a step you can do ahead of time when you're prepping for a party. If we were to put the mozzarella sticks directly into the oil right now, it would be a disaster. The cheese would melt, all of the breadcrumbs would fall apart. So now we're gonna put these into the freezer and get them nice and hard for at least an hour. Overnight is even better. I have a pot filled halfway up with vegetable oil and it's really handy to have a candy thermometer because you want to get the oil to 350 degrees. These are the cheese sticks that have been in the freezer so they're nice and cold and hardened. And I'm just going to put about four into this sauce pot. You really don't want to overcrowd your cheese sticks or anytime you're frying because the oil is going to immediately drop in temperature. But you also want to have enough room for every single angle to get fried up. You want to fry these until they're nice and golden brown, usually at least 30 seconds, but keep an eye on them because they can burn quickly. Try to avoid removing your fried food from the oil, looking at it and putting it back in. This is going to cause them to be soggy. Once they start to float and they're nice and golden brown, you're going to remove them with a slotted spoon and then put them directly onto a baking sheet lined with a paper towel. Mmm, yum. Crispy on the outside, warm and gooey on the inside. And these taste way better than the ones at the restaurant because we made our own. I'm Brandy, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Pop Sugar.